Hi, on today's video we're going to talk about how to set up Kodi to play music videos. There's a lot of specific steps. We're going to give you examples and uh, show you exactly what you need to do to get music videos to play on your Kodi. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're inside of ES File Explorer. And the first thing I want to show is how I've laid out uh, the folder on the external drive. So I'm going to click the external drive link here. And we have a directory for music, TV shows, movies, and music videos. So this is the one I've just created. If we go inside the music videos folder, you'll see I've got a folder with the name of the artist, space, hash mark, space, and then the name of the actual video. There's some uh, relaxing videos like fireplace or waterfalls or something like that if you just want to play something on your TV for background. So that's what this one is here. Then there's some other ones. Obviously you can tell that these are names of artists and their, and their songs. So that's how I've laid it out. If you look at it on the shield, and I open that up, you'll see there's your MP4, there's your NFO. And we're going to provide some instructions on exactly how to create that NFO file. And I just want to show you that inside of ES File Explorer, you can open it up fire things in there these are the folders creating the NFO file for each music uh, video that you're creating so these items that are bolded are what you would edit for each of the different songs and uh, I have the director and studio line removed from mine since I don't ever search by director or search by studio and here's an example of that in a completed format uh, you notice we have title artist album genre runtime year and track all right so the next thing to know always make sure it's accurate and we're going to show you shortly what it will fail if you do not have these accurately named so in notepad you create your uh, NFO file in the format like you see when you name it uh, type in the exact filing and then you have to enter .nfo select all files in the same save type as and encoding should be UTF-8. Make sure you hit UTF-8, all files, type in the proper name with .nfo at the end and then save. Okay. Here we go. Once Cody starts up it will look for new content. And you'll see in the top right it is scanning and looking. Movies are already there. TV shows are there. Music. I come down to music videos. So you'll see there already are some music videos here. It uh, pulls one of the images from the actual video to make the background. Unwatched, recently added, and you can go to random artists. Okay, so the example was showing Fog Hat Slow Ride, and you notice that it has it imported into the uh, added music list, but let's show you why. I did that purposefully. If we go into File Explorer, like we said in the instructions how you have to have everything exact. Notice the NFO file is like that. So is the folder name, but the video name is just as I would, just as I received it when I downloaded it. So that does not match. We need to edit that. Let's select this. Choose to rename it. Copied, let's hit OK. Rename is successful. Now you know the MP4 matches the NFO, which matches the folder. Let's back on this, back into Cody. Let's go into our music videos, update the library, and there it comes in. So it has to be exact, and that's what it takes. So now we're saying, why is there no uh, background thing or thumbnail? If we go into it, get information. What I found, if you come over and hit refresh, it's going to pull in a screen from the video. Let's back out. And there it is. Pulled it in just fine. That's just how easy it is, but it has to be exact naming convention. So I hope that was helpful. I want to show you is how you set this up, right? So in Kodi, you want to come over, go all the way up to the top gear, and you basically want to 
tell Cody what folder to look for all of this content in. So you come under here, under library and videos, and of course we just showed you there's a folder on the external drive called music videos. And if you click it, it looks immediately inside of that folder to show you the content. And of course there are the folders right there. We do have the correct folder, so if we escape, we say yes, that's the folder you want to identify for our music videos. I'm going to hit the C on the, the re remote that brings up the menu here. And you can edit this source. And this is where we would come in, make sure that this is the path that we want. And we can set that. We hit the enter button and it comes up. The next thing you can do is what kind of uh, content is in this directory. If it's a movie, uh, obviously you would choose movie. This is music videos. So we're selecting music videos. Local information only, that's where uh, Cody is going to use that NFO file for the information to index. You know, bring in your album name, your studio, your director, the length of the video, all of that information is going to be pulled from that NFO fo file. Um, so using folder names for lookups, I don't have that turned on. Scan recursively, I do have turned on. We say OK. Let's go ahead and open backgrounds here. I'm just going to resume it. I had it playing. Plays just like movies. It prompted me for subtitles because I use them occasionally for movies. This obviously doesn't need subtitles. But it's something to play in the background. Uh, kind of like a, a moving art, if you will. Relaxing background sounds. To uh, exit, hit enter. Comes up just like your movie would. Come over to the square icon. Hit escape. Now we're back in. So that is it for Cody. Just make sure that um, you do recognize that folder content for movies. When you're coming over and setting this part up here, that when it's changing content, you got to say that it's music videos. It will always prompt movies as a selection. Just make sure you're coming down to music videos. There you have it. So I hope the video was helpful for you. If it was, share with a friend. Questions or comments, uh, post them down below. We'll respond to people as quickly as we can if you have uh, you know, detailed questions that weren't answered in the video. Uh, this definitely has worked for us and, and uh, should work for you just fine as well. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Have a great day.